Hi, my name is Meha, and um, for all mental health and music related things, I go under the name Samora, so you may have seen that before. Um, but I realized after finishing the semester that I don't really challenge myself to perform a lot in a music kind of related way. I am most comfortable when it's just me and my guitar or piano and I'm just alone in my room or my house. Um, and because of that, I'm really not a performer. I, I am so nervous <laughs> and so... I don't even know what to describe this feeling as, but I am just not okay. And so I thought, you know what, we should challenge ourselves to do that and just perform because um, it's good for you as a musician or something like that. I don't know. But I was thinking about the songs that I've been writing this year. And I was thinking about how much effort goes into recording for me because I don't have a proper setup. I never really know what I'm doing. And so I thought, you know, let's just put that on hold for a second. We can focus on recording these songs at the end of the year. We should still work towards our general music goal. Which in case you don't know, my goal with my music is that I want to put out at least one song every year because to me, that is staying dedicated to writing music, keeping it as a part of my life, and just making sure that I don't lose touch with it. So... <laughs> I thought before I begin, we should just take a little trip down memory lane. So the first song I ever put out was at the start of 2020 and that was called Home. So I came up with the idea for Home in 2019 when my sister was coming back um, from university over the break and I was at the airport waiting for her and I just saw all these people just having the most lovely of reunions just whether it was parents reuniting with their kids friends reuniting with each other, husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, the whole nine. And coming back from university that year for me, I couldn't stop thinking about the flight and how it's just such a weird experience to be on a plane. Like it's just so out of body, out of mind. It's weird because you don't feel like you're quite anywhere when you're on a plane, like you're in a very in-between stage of places, if that makes sense. And so home was really about that, was about being in that kind of like weird mid place, but also Recognizing that, oh, I'm coming home. I have something to come home to. I have a place, I have people. I have a sense of comfort that I'm returning to and I just can't wait for that to come. So that was home. And then in 2020, later that year, I put out my first album um, <laughs> and that was called Until We Meet Again. That was like kind of a nightmare for me in the best way and the worst way, but the best way because it was so much fun for me just like taking all these songs I had written over the past two to three years. I, the first one I probably started sometime in 2018 and just taking all these songs and putting them in one place kind of following like one very transformative part of my life. I feel like it was so fun for me to do that because I was like, whoa, so many emotions covering so many different parts of life and now I can just have it in one place. For example, the first song on that album after the Before You Listen track, um, that song is actually about suicide, in case you didn't know, and just about feeling so hopeless that suicide seems like the only option left for you. But then also in that same album, we have songs about heartbreak and songs about being single and loving it and songs about falling in love and loving that too. Also, falling in love and being unsure of it. Like, it just covers so many different aspects of the past couple years that it was so fun for me to put together and to try and make it into one cohesive thing but at the same time recording it was an absolute bitch <laughs> like it was so tiring there was construction constantly anytime i would try to record and it was just it was a mess it was a mess and that is why the production of that album is not great, but I promise you, if you can look past that, there are a couple of good songs on there. And I I genuinely do still love so many of those songs. Like with everything I have, I love them so, so much. I just, one day I will go back and I will re-record those to their full potential. But until then, thank you for listening anyways, because I'm so sorry about the quality for some of those songs. And then in 2021, I put out Jean Ito, which was my song of the year. And that, you know... 
It was definitely a lot more experimental than most of the things I do because it didn't really follow that kind of pop song kind of structure that most songs that I grew up listening to had. And so that was really interesting for me to work on because I was using GarageBand a lot. I was just experimenting with time and chords and key signatures and just a general structure of a song and how it can progress. And I think for me, that song isn't even really a song. Not to say in like a very high artist way that like it transcends music. I don't think that's true, but I do think that it is very much like a moment for me, if that makes sense. Like it feels like an art piece rather than a song because it isn't something that I love listening to. There are some songs of mine that I really love listening to. That is not one of them. Not because I don't think it's good, but just because I feel like it's something that you can only come back to once in a while because the way it makes you or makes me reflect on my life or what I was writing about in that time. It's just a lot. <laughs> and I feel like one of the ways I could describe it is Until We Meet Again was a lot of different songs and they, they each had their moment. But Gene Ito is taking all of those themes and putting it into one song. And it's hard to come back quickly to something like that. You, you need to take some time to yourself when you do that. And I'm so glad that I put her out and that was my song of the year. So now 2022, looking at this year, I have written maybe six to eight songs so far this year. A lot of them are still works in progress, even one or two of the ones I have on here are work in progress. But I thought I should just challenge myself, perform them. <laughs> it probably won't go how I want it to, but you know, we're just gonna go for it because what the hell, right? Right? <laughs> and so with that, the first song that I am going to perform for you today is called In Case You Missed Me. Um, it is about a lot of things, so I don't quite know how to describe it, but um, I hope you like it. <laughs> Thank you. 
searching for someone that's gone When they come back will I be strong enough To hear how they've changed Will things stay the same In case you miss me Is it okay if I'm someone new I've lost all of the parts that you taught me to So that was In Case You Missed Me. Um, my second song of today is called Halfway Home. Um, this song is about feeling like you are struggling to find where exactly you belong, and it definitely pertains to one part of life more clearly than others. That is all. <laughs> Just a little bit of every other passing day blending in and the next one I'd be afraid if it was something new But I've been here before I've heard this same old tune And all the songs that I write Can't stop playing hooks about the same guys that I know along the way I know that it's getting over Can I say I just can't shake off Should you go? Is there a halfway house for 
that was Halfway Home. This next one is called April Nights. It's definitely my most recent one, and so I still am not great at playing it and will definitely struggle. But um, I hope you enjoy. listening 
and especially whoever keeps listening because I just checked and home has reached 1.5k streams, which is crazy. Like I, <laughs> I just never expected my music to get further than the little circle of people that I know and to have that many streams is pretty damn cool. Additionally, with Until We Meet Again, that album, like, I was expecting around the same, like, maybe, maybe 70 streams per song, and then it kind of, like, tapers off there. I definitely did not think there were any super, super big standout songs on that album. I thought, to me, it was just all kind of the same, but apparently not. <laughs> So most songs on that album have around 60 to 100 streams, and I just checked. With the Heavy Heart has 146 streams, which I was like, whoa, okay, we're past the 100 mark, this is pretty cool. I Think I'm In Love With You has 191 streams, we've almost hit the 200 mark, I was like, whoa, even cooler. And then, out of nowhere, I haven't checked my Spotify statistics in so long, and out of nowhere, Sad Being a Stranger has 714 streams. When did this happen and how are you finding it? Because that's almost 100k streams and that to me is like 100k? Did I just say 100k? Have I been saying 100k this whole time? I just checked. I haven't. <laughs> Thankfully, I said 1k the first time. Yeah, 1k streams on a song that's part of an album. Like, that is crazy to me. Um, on that note, so the fun thing about Spotify for Artists is I get to kind of see who slash how you're listening to my music. And because of that, I know the one person who has been listening to Sad Being a Stranger a lot. And I'm not going to name any names. I'm not going to put her on blast like that. But <laughs> I want to say thank you. I am so grateful to every person that listens to my music. I think it's just the most loving thing you can do if you if you care about me to just take a moment and listen to the stuff i put out even if it's not for you if you end up not liking it that's completely understandable i get that i don't like my music sometimes for those of you that do choose to listen and just in general support me with music mental health like whatever i'm doing i appreciate you i'm so grateful for you thank you and in honor of that i'm gonna play Sad being a stranger for the first time. Um, <laughs> will this go out? Probably not. It's been so long since I've played this, but um, we're just gonna give it a shot, so here's to nothing. <laughs> Tell me what you want. 